Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the next episode. Um, today, with autumn thoroughly drawing in and winter coming along, I thought it would be a cool idea to share uh, what a typical flat water freestyle session looks like for me during the winter. Um, ways to keep motivated with getting wet and cold during the winter and um, yeah, the things that I'm doing to, to continue pushing myself. Um, but also just, this is what it looks like. So yeah, hope you enjoy and uh, let me know what you think in the comments. Now obviously I'm in a really long slicey boat at the moment, but most of what I'm talking about would apply even if I was in a shorter boat. I just choose the slicey one in winter because it's slightly more comfortable when it's cold. Um, you're doing slightly fewer moves that involve you getting completely upside down and inverted. Um, regardless, my first step when I'm doing a flat water freestyle session is always to first go over the things that I'm familiar with. In this boat, that means lots of cartwheels. Um, I usually aim to start off my session with 50 on either side. Now, like I said, for me, these core skills are cartons. But for you, this might be anything. It might be some lean cleans, it might be backed up rolling, it might be just rolling generally, although I guess both of those in winter might be less favorable. Um, but it could be anything. Honestly, at this point, I'm just filling time with all of these cartons. Um, yeah, I, I do it now. Now, control when you're vertical is also really important. So one of the other things that I like to do um, is to hold stern stalls and hold bow stalls for as long as I can. Sorry, I'm still super out of breath from all those cartwheels. When it's all wintry and cold like this, having your head even half in the water for this length of time can get really painful. That's just good practice for pulling up on the knees and getting your head out of the water, locking that core in. Oh golly, it's cold. Now with bow stalls, oh, hello. we're very used to holding our posture completely central, um, which is good, that's, that's the most stable place to be. But I think it's really good for core control um, to experiment with holding your bow stall to one side or the other. And that's really helpful when you start getting to the point of doing pirouettes where you need to be reaching around to the side so having done all of those core skills it's then experimentation time um, I think we're often tempted not to do that in winter because it's cold and falling on your face is is rubbish um, but I think it's really vital to keep your motivation up um, is do all those basic core things that you would always do to get warm and then start playing around. For me at the moment, that looks like flat water looping this thing um, or doing work on the wall, doing pirouettes. Um, so uh, let's, let's try and loop, shall we? What? Ah, oh, I found the bottom. Oh, a bit lopsided. Getting there. Experiment. 
experimentation time can also look like doing some of the more complex moves, like your split wheels, your tricky woos, stuff like that. thing is to just keep doing silly stuff I think <laughs> the last thing I do um, because it's winter is I do some sprints um, well not necessarily sprints but just some flat water paddling forwards and backwards um, to keep the conditioning going um, I usually try and mix it up, I pick two boys in the water and uh, every time I get to the end of the lap I have to do like a stern, um, a stern squirt or a pirouette or something in between each sprint. There you go, that was my typical winter flat water session. Um, I hope you found that enjoyable, informative. Um, probably less pretty than last time, but oh well. Um, and look forward to some tutorial videos on some of these flat water skills uh, in the coming weeks. Thanks for watching. <laughs>